What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Inside the Mind, my weekly trial series where I walk you through exactly what I'm doing, thinking, and how I handle a variety of situations during some solo trials matches in real time. The goal of this is to help you guys improve at trials, especially if you're a solo player. This week for my loadout, I'm going to be on my Solar Warlock build with Ace of Spades and my Beloved with Snapshot and Moving Target. And since we're on Solar and Beloved is a Solar Sniper, I'm going to be able to run triple harmonic unflinching mods and triple harmonic targeting mods to really be effective with my sniper and i'm also going to be running a solar dexterity with a kinetic loader on my gauntlets to be getting those fast reloads and weapon swaps if you guys ever have any questions you want answered or want to watch these episodes recorded live i do stream on twitch five days a week the link will be down below we'd love to see you in chat all right enough said let's get into it all righty here we go game number one let's try to cook i'm gonna try to get to this open sniper lane up top here really quick oftentimes you can catch people up uh off guard by pushing really fast with a sniper around number one that's what i did just right there unfortunately i was not able to get out i didn't know there was a second one in viz down below but we did get the first pick hopefully our teammates can get to a position to hopefully watch the res unfortunately they're not gonna push they are gonna get another kill though see if our teammate can clutch right here unfortunately it's gonna be a 1v3 but he is gonna get the res farm there okay teammate cook oh my god wait he might be him to be watching this res the other guy can't get on zone yet farm that res bro oh okay oh almost dude unfortunately i got a little too aggressive uh after my snipe right there i thought that i uh i thought the guy on the left was solo so i needed to do a better job you know reading the pressure where they were coming from i should have anticipated one middle when i only saw two up top we did use our sniper ammo unfortunately that round so i'm gonna kind of play a little slow for information this round they seem to really like pushing up top aggressively though i kind of went middle here to look for the guy uh look for the guy that went middle last round our teammate's gonna get a snipe for the first pick down Going to try to work a little closer, try to find out where the other two are. One is going to go down. And this last guy, he's just going to get cooked. Beautiful work. So yeah, after the first round, that's kind of what you use the first round for. You kind of use it for information, right? How the uh, enemy team is going to play. So I saw that the invis, uh, one of the invis players went down low middle. So I was kind of trying to isolate him right there. But unfortunately, he did not go to my lane. But we were still able to just play our life till our teammate get the first pick which was huge. We got this guy weak. I see a guy over pushing behind us. So I'm going to try to help our teammates. He's two tapped. There we go. Now we got to watch these guys pushing because they are going to try to get some map position while we're on the back foot and a little bit weak. Nice. Our teammates are doing a really good job of team shotting with me and I'm just playing my life while our other teammate gets the res. Yeah, that was a really good example of just trying to get in some chip damage as much as possible. Not over challenging, not trying to commit to any play because I had faith in my teammate. If I got them one shot that he'd be able to clean them up. We worked really well together right there, kind of baiting and switching each other. I'm going to go up top right here. Play a little bit different than I have the uh, first couple rounds. A little bit of a switch up. Get another early easy first pick. That guy's one shot in front of me. There is another guy over here. So they're both going to be middle. They're going to get a res, unfortunately. They know where I am too. I'm going to have to try to back up here and just get a first pick. Except they're probably going to be smart and just play for the zone. And they have heavy. Unfortunately, not able to clutch that one. That's a really tough position. They had all map control. 1v3, heavy. I did uh, manage to save my sniper ammo right there, though. Instead of just trying to go for some random crazy shot, I knew with the new sandbox uh, and the lack of special ammo that it could come in handy this round. So I did not use my sniper shot. There's one far, too far in this, which means the guy middle I saw on radar is by himself. So I'm going to work this guy with our teammates. Going to push him. Hopefully he's a little weak. He is not. He's going to be rotating out, though. Got to be watching my radar, see where he's going to come from. I see a radar ping in vent. Going to preempt that for a second, but be checking my radar. Unscoping kind of constantly. Okay, so there's two there. I'm weak. I need our teammates to kind of make a play here. Yeah, there's not much we're going to be able to do here. He took way too much time to get a uh, to make a play. These guys are playing very smart together. They're using utilizing their overshields really well. They're just kind of getting zone control and uh, using those overshields to, uh, to secure the map control and kind of just waiting for us. And we're uh, we're not making plays fast enough. So I'm going to try to make one of those uh, fast plays again to hopefully get us a pick with a sniper shot right here. I did not peek that, unfortunately. I'm going to pixel peek that guy real quick. There's our first pick. We need to try to hold it down. Our teammates are doing a good job of kind of 
pushing up after I got the sniper kill. Hopefully your teammate doesn't die there. Beautiful. There we go. So again, kind of changing your pace, right? Like I recognize right there, we were playing way too slow. We just let them kind of do what they want, slowly work up with the map control. I knew they didn't have a barricade that round. So my objective was play a little bit faster, kind of catch them off guard because I've been able to do that a couple of times this game. Um, and it's worked. So I don't have a sniper shot this time, but I am going to kind of sort of play in that similar similar way. Our teammate's going to get a free early pick with the uh, with the super. Got this guy isolated and spawned by himself. So I'm going to chase his kill. While our teammates do the rest over there. There we go. It's been a close game so far, but we've done a really good job of adapting mid-game. I have my well now, so hopefully we can close this, close this out. But yeah, this is a really good example of a game that uh, you can kind of like... I've been able to show my thought process really well on uh on changing pace, playing with my teammates, um, and adapting to the enemy team's play style. So I'm just gonna get ran out here. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my well down, but I also knew we had a round to sort of give. Um, I didn't want to waste my well right there while we weren't on the zone. They're gonna get a bubble soon, but my objective right here is just to get the well down. Even if I can't get to the zone this round now, I have to just pop the well. So I might pop it a little bit early if I'm getting shot, but if they're not going to get here in time, then I will be able to pop on zone. And there we go. Using the Icarus dash to get to middle as fast as possible. We see one on the flank. Our teammates are going to die before he gets in the well. we got to try to prevent them from shooting our well. Pop the shield there. Again, I'm just kind of like switching my aim back and forth watching these two lanes. Because again, last thing we want is for them to shoot the well. And there we go. We clutched up. Adapted. Overcame the overshield titan. Beautiful dub right there. Game number two. It looks like it's going to be a pretty sweaty one. So we're going to have to be locked in for this one. Let's see if we can get an opening pick the first round here with our sniper. Looks like they're flying really hard down low. So I'm going to try to rotate back to my team so I don't get isolated. They got a guy weak here. Nice. Our teammate's going to get one. Going to help our teammate out there. Get the last guy beautiful i did unfortunately kind of overheat right there and use my sniper ammo again like we talked about last game unless you need to use your sniper right usually you only use your sniper most of the time it will be in the first like 20 percent of a round right you'll go for that early pick um but other than that oftentimes it's better to have your gun up uh your primary up i should say being uh team shotting with your with your team so once you kind of have that opening duel it's best to put the sniper away and just uh be able to help get some damage in with your team that Titan's just going to be running away. I'm going to try to take the map position that he gave up when he backed up. Because our teammate is isolated over here. Unfortunately, going to get picked off. But we are uh, we're both here, my teammate and I. Hopefully going to do a lot of damage. I got that guy pretty weak. I'm getting pushed. You realize that, though, on radar? And he's going to be able to team shot with me right there. He's getting rushed. But I will have his angle to clean it on up. Beautiful teamwork right there. We saw my teammate isolated. We both rotated. Even though uh, they died first, we were able to get the map position, kind of trap them in that corner. And we were uh, able to utilize very good team shotting and angles to uh, to secure the rounds. Okay, I still have my... Uh, or I got a sniper shot right here. So I'm going to be sort of playing an off angle, waiting for one to make a move towards the zone. Kind of seeing if I can get some information where my teammates are shooting to kind of get an idea of where they are. One's going to be close above me here. I'm actually going to jump up on this sneaky spot on glass. And uh, try to get some information, but both teammates are going to die. So my goal right here is kind of just to build super. Maybe get a kill or two. I'm not going to waste my sniper shot right there. Like right there, I probably could have bodied him. Uh, and maybe even gotten that one kill, but it wasn't worth it because I know I need to keep my sniper shot for the next round. So I did a better job versus the first round where I kind of wasted my sniper shot. With the new ammo economy, it's really important to like, you know, if you're in kind of a kind of a weird situation where you're probably not going to win. Oftentimes shaving, even for your shotgun, getting a trade uh, often isn't worth it versus saving it for the next round. They just full sent me in here. I'm going to try to trade. I got my one kill. It's a 2v1. Hopefully uh, they can get a rocket in maybe on the rest. 1v3 situation. Nice first kill. Yeah, they played really, really aggro and kind of uh, realized it was a 2v3 up top right there. So the Titan was able to close the gap with an SMG on me. I was lucky and uh, was able to get the double melee for the trade, but that's not the position I want to be in with the sniper. So quite the opposite of last game where I was playing a little bit too slow. 
Uh, we got to kind of try to slow it down a little bit this game. Play for a little more information. So they're going to be up top. They're going to probably just be pushing our teammate like they did last round. So I'm going to work with them this time. We're going to be able to secure the first kill on the guy overextending. Going to get our teammates trade. My melee whiffs. And I'm going to get a trade. There's not much I can do about that. I made the right play. While uh, the Titan was uh, super focused on our teammate, I was uh, trying to get the timing there where the Titan would still be shooting um, shooting our teammates so I could get, him, get the trade. But unfortunately, melee whiffs do happen. Sad about it. So I have three sniper shots. And they've been pushing really fast top middle. So I'm going to, again, use this sneaky spot. Try to get some info. Maybe pick some peak one. Again, just waiting for them to kind of make a mistake over push like that. There we go. So now I'm going to still sit here. Watch for the res. Last guy we saw drop down. He's going after our teammate. There we go. So we were able to utilize, again, kind of a kind of a little cheeky spot right over here to get some information. And once I saw the the Titan kind of just standing there overextended, I knew, uh, I knew I had the opportunity to at least go for a snipe. And right now, while I have a lot of ammo, I can kind of uh, go for those more risky plays. Again, with two ammo right here, I'm kind of going to go for a pick again. I'm going to play a really weird off angle. Teammate's going to get one. I'm going to try to help our teammate live right here. It's going to be a 1v1. I have Mori. I have to back up. I don't know where the other res is, so I'm going to have to play a little aggressive. I'm trying to watch him through the glass. And there we go. So right there again, I only knew where one res was. I didn't know where the other one was. So that's why I had to play it a little bit aggressive because I didn't know if he was about to be sitting on a res. And so he was crouching off radar as well. So I didn't know if he was like backing up. So that that's an example of kind of a situation I was forced to, even though I didn't really want to. Kind of just challenge with the primary. I'm about to have a well, but I think I might have a gap right here to hopefully get a pick. They see me on radar right now. So I'm hoping one uh, kind of slides out. He did, he... Uh, a nice shoulder right there but again i'm gonna back up i'm basically gonna have a well so my entire objective is wait for it get it sit on the zone live until i can and they don't really have any supers that can super shut us down so again main objective right now is to not let them shoot the sword oh i hit that snipe that was crispy crispy way to end the game nice adjustments in that game nice plays quite the opposite of the first game actually but we played well. Went 14 and 4 on the scoreboard, pumping out the damage. Again, that's a lot of sniping, is realizing when actually to have your sniper out, right? And most of the time, a good rule of thumb when you're a beginner at sniping is to just snipe for the first fight. Again, maybe try to get a little flank and angle, learn where they're playing, and utilize your teammates for information. And if you see them in a fight and you have timing to get a little kill from the side, maybe, or a uh, pinch. Then uh, utilizing that effectively, keeping track of your ammo is super, super important. Kind of letting that dictate how you're going to play. But uh, yeah, that was a really good game. GG's to them.